Neutralization. This is the topic of screencast 15.8. Here's what you'll learn. What always happens when you mix an acid and a base? It always tends to form the same two things. Also, let's recognize a bunch of common acids and bases, know both their names as well as their formulas. Ready? Let's go. Neutralization is pretty easy. Anytime you mix an acid, like hydrochloric, with a base like sodium hydroxide, it always makes in this case, the double replacement products. I mean, it always does that, not just in this case. It's no longer sodium hydroxide, it's sodium chloride. It's no longer HCl, it's now HOH, by night known as water. So, in general, an acid and a base makes a salt and makes water. Let's do one. HBr, that's hydrobromic acid, combines with NaOH, that's sodium hydroxide. Recognize that polyatomic ion OH minus as the hydroxide anion. So it'll make a salt, in this case sodium bromide, and water is always just water. Two molecules of hydrobromic acid would combine with one molecule of magnesium hydroxide to make magnesium bromide and water. Try these last ones. HNO3, recognize it? That's nitric acid. That'll combine with potassium hydroxide to make potassium nitrate and water. Here's some other acids and bases you should be aware of. I'll give you one, you give me the other. What's H2SO4? That's sulfuric acid. What's hydrochloric acid? Well, it was up there. See it? It's HCl. Pause this if you have to if I'm going too fast. HI, that's a weird one you don't see very often, hydriodic acid. Can you give me the symbol, the formula that is for hydrofluoric acid? Yeah, it's just HF. If you have LiOH, that must be lithium hydroxide. Calcium hydroxide, that's just CaOH, right? Nuh-uh, calcium forms a plus two cation. You better have two of those hydroxide anions to balance that out. And H3PO4, look at all those H's in front, that is phosphoric acid. That's a little bit about neutralization.